Hey guys, my name is Dr. John Jaziri, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing the relationship between pregnancy and your teeth, your smile. Uh, here's the situation, guys. Every year, I get one or two patients that come to me, and we're working on their mouth, and during a discussion, they're like, yeah, my teeth just started going downhill after I had my second or third baby. And the question is, can having a baby actually uh, screw up your teeth and gums? And is it really true? Well, I mean, if so many people are telling me this, there's gotta be a relationship. And guess what, guys? There is a correlation between teeth and gums and pregnancy. Basically, what happens is when you're pregnant during those nine precious months, a lot of bad things can happen to your mouth. And if you're not careful, guys, um, you could end up with a lifetime of problem just because for those, you know, nine months or, you know, if you have multiple kids those couple years, uh, your dental care was you know, a little bit negligent, you fell a little bit behind it, but the impact of that can be something that's with you for the rest of your life. Now, I know if you're pregnant, you got a lot of things to worry about, baby buggy, stroller, uh, crib, baby formulas, where's our formulas, the government, where are these baby formulas? So the last thing on your mind is your teeth, but guys, if you give me a couple minutes, I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about your teeth and your smile, so that while you are getting ready for your precious little baby, we can also make sure that your precious teeth are gonna stay in your mouth and as healthy as possible because otherwise you're gonna to have to spend a lot of time with me a few years from now once the baby is here to get your smile back, right guys? So yeah, that's what we're gonna make this video to prevent and minimize the impact of uh, pregnancy has on your teeth. And here's what we're gonna be discussing in our video. First, I'm gonna to explain to you guys what the impact of pregnancy is on your teeth. Why is it that pregnant moms can have problems with their teeth and gums? And what is the relationship between those two? Next, I'm gonna go over emergency care during dental uh, um, for your teeth during pregnancy. So if you're pregnant and you have a toothache, if your gums are bleeding, we're gonna go ahead and discuss that and explain to you what you need to know uh, before you go and take any actions in order to get your mouth fixed during those nine months. And then finally, I'm gonna go over routine care Care, uh, routine dental care during pregnancy. Basically, if you are pregnant, should you go see the dentist for checkup and cleaning or not, or should you just wait? I'm gonna go over you know, what you need to know with regards to getting just routine dental care during your uh, pregnancy. And at the end of this, you'll have a much clearer idea of the relationship between your teeth and your body during your pregnancy time. Okay, guys, so we got a lot of things to talk about, uh, but before I start our discussion of pregnancy and the relationship to the teeth and gums, I wanna bring the attention of those moms or even dads who don't have a dentist and are looking for one to go check out the website even28.com. That's E-V-E-N, the number two, the number eight. There we go, that's number eight. Like the 28 teeth in it, set up healthy mouth. Go ahead, count them, 28. Go. 28. <laughs> uh, even 28 is a dentist search engine. You can browse through profiles of dentists, read their reviews, check them out. And when you find a great dentist, you can schedule your appointment all conveniently online and all for free from the dentist search engine, the website even28.com. Okay, guys, so we got a lot of things to talk about. And let's start our discussion by explaining to you guys what the relationship of pregnancy is to your teeth and gums. Okay guys, so what is the impact of pregnancy on your mouth? Pregnancy can affect your teeth and your gums. So what it can do is it can increase uh, the chance of you getting cavities and it can cause gum disease, a double whammy. Okay, so how do we prevent the effect of pregnancy and what is it that causes these things? Okay, let's go over a couple simple things that uh, happens during pregnancy that can affect your smile. One of these is a change in hormones. When you're pregnant, you're you know, hormone levels are changing, and that can, that can actually cause the inflammation of the gum tissue and bleeding. In fact, more than half the people uh, who are pregnant, half the ladies who are pregnant, have some kind of a pregnancy-related gum disease. And uh, that's one of the things that happens is because of these changes in your hormone levels. Another thing that happens is, you know, morning sickness and regurgitation, vomiting that happens during pregnancy to a lot of ladies. You know, when you have acids from the stomach coming to your mouth, that acid is very abrasive and very erosive. So what that does is that, can, that can actually destroy your enamel. So that's another thing that can have a negative impact on your teeth during the pregnancy time, okay? Cravings, a lot of you ladies wanna have these cravings. You know, you might've been healthy and during those nine months, you just wanna go all crazy and have all kinds of chocolates, sweets, and candies. It's normal, you know, a lot of people have changes in their diets and they're craving carbs or something different from their normal routine. And if you are craving a lot of candies and sweets, uh, that can actually cause cavities too. 
Okay, so that's another reason. And then finally, the changes in your nutrients. You know, when you're pregnant, you know, your body has to share these nutrients with your baby. So that can actually affect the nutrients that's in your mouth, which can have a negative impact on your teeth and your gum tissue. Okay, so those are a couple little things. And now that you understand them, addressing them is actually easier than you can imagine. Okay, first of all, with regards to the changes in the hormones, obviously you want to be under the care of a physician. And, you know, if they're taking care of your body and everything's going well in that aspect, then yeah, that's actually going to have a positive impact on your mouth. So if your physician's happy with you, your dentist, which you're probably not going to see for a while, is also going to be happy with your mouth. So keep your hormones under control and you'll be in pretty good shape. With regards to the regurge and the vomiting issues, you know, if you find yourself having those episodes, morning sickness or whatnot, just go ahead and clean your mouth, guys, ladies. You know, just put some water there, rinse it out, brush it out. Doesn't have to be a long, drawn out process. You don't even need to use a toothpaste. Just get a little brush and get that acid off of your teeth and clean it, okay? You don't want your teeth laying in that acid for a long time. So if you're brushing your teeth, keeping them clean every time you go and you have an episode, then yeah, that's really all it takes to prevent the damage from the acids to your tea. Cravings, you're gonna be eating a lot of sweets, a lot of ladies, that happens to you. What do you wanna do is you wanna avoid the stickier ones. So, you know, the gummy bears and the chocolates, the ones that are really sticky and stick to your teeth can be the most damaging as well as sodas. Now, if you find yourself really wanting those, fine, go ahead and have it. But again, you wanna brush your teeth and you want to also drink a lot of water because when you're drinking water, the water washes away these sweets and candies from your mouth. So get in the habit of just carrying a brush and brushing your teeth more than twice a day, you know, if you have to, and just drinking a lot of water, sipping on water. That'll also keep your mouth clean. It'll uh, help remove all the uh, sugar stuff from your teeth. If you do those two things, that's really great. And that'll really go a long ways in terms of preventing the damage to your teeth from these uh uh, cravings and the chocolate and candies that you might be consuming during the nine months of pregnancy. Okay, and then finally the nutrients, you know, if, you know, your doctor gives you any kind of a vitamins, prenatal vitamins, a lot of, you know, ladies have to go through those. Take them and make sure your nutrients are keeping uh, up. Uh, just, you know, keep a healthy lifestyle and try to get as much as good stuff as you can for you and your baby. And that's going to also have a positive impact on your baby as well. But yeah, guys, there's a lot of things during pregnancy that happens, and a lot of it can impact your teeth. And I know that's the last thing on your mind, but it should be something that you consider. And if you just pay attention to these little things, you know, keep your hormones under control, get some good nutrients, you know, eat healthier foods. And, you know, if you're going to have the cravings and if you're going to have the, you know, regurgitation, just, you know, keep your teeth clean, maybe brush a little bit more. Just 30 seconds of brushing with water. That's really all it takes. And just rinse with water or just sip a lot of water. That's really all it takes to prevent the damage that happens to the teeth from you know, these uh, situations during pregnancy. But yeah, guys, those are the impacts of pregnancy on teeth. Now, let's go ahead and discuss what happens if you actually end up with a toothache uh, during the time which you are pregnant. Okay, so let's go over emergency dental care during pregnancy. Okay, so you're pregnant and all of a sudden you have a toothache, your gums are bleeding, and you decided to see a dentist. What do you have to do, guys? Okay, uh, first and foremost, this is very important. If you have had a relationship with the dentist before you got preg pregnant, that's fantastic. You want to go back to that same dentist because going to a new dentist during pregnancy is always challenging and cumbersome because... A lot of dentists are just kind of are hesitant working on you during pregnancy, right? And again, you know, we cannot discriminate. Am I comfortable working on pregnant patients all day long? But there are certain protocols you need to understand and you need to follow. And I would prefer for you to have in my patients if given the option. Okay, now, of course, that's not always the option. You know, we move a lot. You might have moved, not seen an dentist for three years have fun with the hubby, created that wonderful baby, and all of a sudden you get a toothache. So you don't have a dentist that lives anywhere close to you, thousands of miles away. Fine, go and find a new dentist. But the benefit of having access to your old dentist is a copy of the x-rays. Because what happens is, you know, if you're gonna go to a new dentist, they're not gonna wanna take 15, 18 x-rays to view your whole mouth. That's a lot of radiation, which is really not considered safe. And we're gonna get into the radiation in a minute. But yeah, if you can get a copy of your x-rays from your previous dentist, Fantastic. What do I tell my patients? Usually if you've been to a dentist within the last year or so, I would encourage you to contact them and request a copy of the x-ray. And dentists are usually very accommodating. You know, I, if somebody calls me, I'll you know have my secretary send them the x-ray, especially if I know pregnant, I'll have them send them right away so they can get their problem fixed, okay? But yeah, getting a copy of the x-ray helps me understand what your mouth is all about. And even if you have a new problem, I may need a new x-ray, but just having a copy of x-ray helps me visualize what's going on with your mouth. So always try to get a copy of x-ray if possible. 
The other thing that's important is to get permission from your physician to see the dentist. Guys, I'm a dentist and we're just about doctors, but unfortunately the hierarchy is doctors, dentists, you know, and <laughs> let's not worry about who's underneath dentists, but doctors are always a little bit above dentists and they have to tell us what to do, especially when you're pregnant. So when you're pregnant, you need to go see your physician, uh, your OBGYN or whoever's taking care of you and get a clearance to see a dentist for an emergency. A lot of times what we do is we give you a form which they have to fill it out. Now, this is all generic questions, but we have to get their permission to work on your mouth. And a lot of dentists will require you to have this form before they actually do any kind of a dental treatment on you. Okay, so you might want to inquire from your dentist if that's something they require. Maybe have them fax the form, see your physician, and then make an appointment to your dentist so that you can actually do some work on you. Get that clear so that we feel comfortable and confident that, hey, you know what, I can go ahead and pull Mrs. Jones's tooth even though Mrs. Jones is pregnant. Okay, so that's as far as the clearance, as far as the x-rays. Now, what are the emergencies we usually talk about during pregnancy? Well, listen, if you need a little filling done because you see a little black spot here or if your teeth are a little crooked and you want to get them straightened out, those are things that you're probably not going to want to do during pregnancy and your dentist isn't going to want to do during your pregnancy either because they're cosmetic, they're not essential, they're not medically necessary. They can wait a couple months. Now, if you have a toothache or if your gums are bleeding, that's different and that's emergency. And you know what? That cannot wait nine months because otherwise it could get much worse. You can cause infection and have more serious problems. So if you're having actual toothache, throbbing pain or gum disease, then that should be addressed because not only are you going to be in pain, you you don't want these to create bacteria as an infection, which is gonna drain into your arteries and sinuses and go into your body and affect that little baby, right? So what you wanna do is if you're having actual tooth pain, well, then you gotta go see the dentist. Okay, so um, let's go over a couple pointers on when to see a dentist and a couple common questions that people have with regards to pregnancy and seeing the dentist. Uh, x-rays, is it safe to take x-rays? Um, yeah, it actually is not a big deal taking a couple x-rays. Like I said, if you can request your x-rays from your dentist, Awesome. But taking these little tiny x-rays like this is just not a big deal. These x-rays have minimal radiation, maybe about 15 to 20 minutes of daily radiation. So if you're just walking around for 20 minutes, that's about the radiation you get from one of these x-rays. Not a big deal. Okay, but you do want to avoid taking like a panoramic or a 3D, a CT scan. Those are actually much higher level of radiation. And unless you have to, you want to try to avoid them. Okay, so I always try to avoid these during pregnancy. I don't think I've ever taken anything other than those little x-rays. And because those have very little radiation, they're usually fine and they're good to go. You also want to make sure you're covered with a bib. So when they're taking the x-rays, get yourself a bib and put it on you. And this is also a neck collar. You wanna make sure you have the neck collar as well. We also have this terminology called double bibbing, which we put another bib on top of this. Uh, let me show you what this looks like. See ladies, all these things I do so you can keep your baby safe. Double bibbing, so you can put two x-ray bibs as such. Your baby is safe there. And frankly, the radiation is here. The baby is here. That's like two feet away, depending on your torso height. So the baby is safe. Taking an x-ray has no impact uh, on the baby, but go to the extra strength. Get yourself bibbed, cover your collars, double bib it, and just play safe. That's how I do it in my practice for pregnant patients. And I try to limit it to one, maybe two x-rays if I have to. Um, anesthesia, is it safe to numb patients? Listen, if you have a toothache and I have to treat it, I may have to numb you. You cannot handle pulling a tooth or a root canal without some kind of an anesthesia. So is it safe to use anesthesia? Anesthesia by itself is okay. All right, so what we have is we have different kind of anesthetics, right? This is lidocaine, which most of you call it novocaine, but they have special kinds of, you know, anesthesia that don't have epinephrine. Okay, so you wanna avoid the stuff that has epinephrine. Usually the one with the red line has the epinephrine and the one with the clear line is epinephrine free. That's how I know it. Of course, there's different brands, but you wanna avoid epinephrine, but the actual anesthetic itself is fine. It's safe. It goes in your body and it clears, but you don't wanna raise the epinephrine too much. So what we usually do, we have a special shot for pregnant patients. Now this doesn't get you as numb, so it might be a little bit more uncomfortable pulling the tooth. I may have to work a little bit quicker. And that's why not every dentist works on pregnant patients, because if you can not take out the tooth or do a root canal in 30 minutes, you don't wanna spend three hours working on a pregnant patient. So if that's the case, your dentist may refer you to somebody else or refer you to a specialist during your pregnancy. 
But that's what it takes. Like I said, you're not gonna stay numb for hours and hours with that weaker anesthetic. That's one of the reasons dentists who aren't comfortable and quick enough may want to refer you out to somebody else. You know, I'm you know, I'm okay. I can pull you through the rural canal in a short amount of time. I've been doing it for years, so I will treat pregnant patients. And last but not least is painkillers. What do you take for pain, you know, before the appointment or afterwards? Honestly, the only painkiller you can take during pregnancy is Tylenol. You cannot take ibuprofen, Motrin. That's an NSAID. You're not allowed to take it. Antibiotics, you have to check. Some antibiotics are okay. But again, we don't want to take antibiotics unless we have to. So when you're not pregnant, everybody who gets a tooth extraction, implant, root canal gets antibiotics. When you're pregnant, you almost never get it unless you absolutely need it. And again, if you need it, a lot of times I refer patients to their physician. I'm like, call your physician and have them prescribe you an antibiotic. I don't want to give that to you, but Tylenol is pretty much the only thing you can take safely during pregnancy, guys. Okay, so that's as far as um, the little things you need to know about x-rays and uh, anesthesia and um, what was the last one? Painkillers during pregnancy. But what are these emergency treatments we're talking about? Well, like I said, one of them is a toothache, at which point the dentist will either pull the tooth or start the root canal or finish the root canal. Okay, root canal, again, you know, I have a video which you can check it out, but is when we remove the nerve and replace it with got a percha. So you get to keep the tooth, but you get to rid of the pain. So sometimes the dentist starts the root canal and they're like, okay, come back afterwards and we'll finish it. Or they finish it in one day, okay? Regardless, or they pull the tooth, okay? I usually prefer pulling the tooth unless it's like in the front, at which point I do the root canal. But yeah, those are the two common treatments you're gonna get. And again, your dentist wants to be quick, efficient, get it done in one day or send it to you to a specialist so they can do it right and quick. You don't wanna be spending weeks and weeks going to the dentist during pregnancy. And being efficient and getting the work done quickly is very critical during these times. And if your dentist isn't comfortable, you are gonna get referred to somebody who is comfortable doing that. Okay, um, that's pretty much all I gotta say about emergency dental care, guys. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Um, and of course, uh, the cleaning is what we're gonna talk about in the next session. So let's go ahead and get started about routine care and dental cleaning during pregnancy. Okay, routine care during pregnancy. When should you see the dentist? Well, the best time to see the dentist uh, during the pregnancy is the second trimester, okay? So when you're about three to six months pregnant. Why is that? It's because the first trimester is usually very tough and then the third trimester, you're this big. Second trimester is when the baby's developing the least and it's the most comfortable for moms. So that's usually when we like to see the patients for routine care. Plus, if you're gonna see the dentist, you know, once in this year, year and a half during the pregnancy process, you might as well do it right in the middle, right? So get that cleaning in about a four or five month time. So you can get a cleaning maybe seven, eight months later, and then you haven't had a cleaning seven or eight months before that. So you kind of put it right in between there to maximize your cleaning, okay? Um, and again, you can do the exam during pregnancy, no problem, but it's gonna be mostly a visual exam. We're only gonna take x-rays if needed, but you can do your cleaning and you should do your cleaning if you need it. Okay, there's this term called pregnancy gingivitis where your gums start bleeding and getting inflamed and your pink gum tissue turns red, puffy, and um, just very tender and it bleeds all the time or tons of blood. When you brush it, there's blood everywhere. So if you're facing a situation like that, should you get a clinic? Absolutely, why wouldn't you? Um, to let this, you know, damage your teeth. Plus, uh, you know, if you have gum inflammation and periodontal disease, you can actually be uh, draining bacteria into the, you know, gums and your mouth and from there to the artery, sinuses, to the body. So you don't want to risk it. You know, if you have bleeding gums, just go get it clean. It's very simple. The second trimester and, you know, it's just that simple. Skip the x-rays. You know, if you have tooth problems and stuff, just come back after pregnancy. I'll take your x-rays then. It's a little bit of a risk you have to take, but, you know, that's just how it is. If you've been to the dentist six, seven, eight months ago, you probably don't have anything to worry about. Haven't been to the dentist for a couple years. Okay, fine. Go get your cleaning now and then come back when you have the baby and you can see the dentist and we can kind of discuss, you know, fixing your mouth, you know. And a lot of times that's a year or two down the line, I don't know. But at least get that cleaning to minimize the damage. And that's one of the most critical ways you can avoid the, the long-term damage of pregnancy to your teeth, is that cleaning during the second trimester. Okay, uh, what else I gotta tell you guys about this? When I see patients during pregnancy, I never lay them all the way down. I usually put them at about a 45 degree angle or maybe even closer to 90 degree. So, you know, the baby is nice and comfortable. Um, we don't take x-rays. And I prefer not to use any kind of a fluoride or anything that can pose any kind of a risk to the mom or the patient. So I just do a pumice cleaning, keep it very simple. Use my hand instrument. 
I do not use my ultrasonic, just a very simple cleaning, get your gums under control. And a lot of times I recommend patients to um, use salt water to rinse out them. I don't like prescription mouthwash, especially during pregnancy. Uh, maybe rinse with some kind of a peroxide baking soda solution to get your gum bleeding under control. Increase your flossing, but yeah, you wanna keep it as safe and holistic as possible during pregnancy. Uh, but yeah, get your cleaning. There's nothing wrong with getting a cleaning and I always recommend doing it. In fact, a lot of my patients who come to me during pregnancy are referred to me by their OBGYNs and their physicians who actually care and they look at their gums and they're like, mm, yeah, your gums are bleeding. You should go see a dentist for a cleaning. And again, the cleanings are kept very simple, very rudimentary, no extras, just a quick exam, just a you know basic cleaning. And then we can pick it up after the pregnancy, do the full exam and you know, make your treatment plan, etc., etc. Okay guys, but yeah, that's how routine care is. I do personally recommend it. And if you feel you need it, talk to your physician or just go see a dentist and get that cleaning and get your gums cleaned up so that you're ready for the next, you know, nine months until you can go and see the dentist again. Okay, so my final thoughts, guys, I'm gonna keep it brief, but yeah, you know, the last thing on your mind during pregnancy is your teeth, but if you can make one day for that cleaning, halfway in between, that's fantastic. And you know what, if you guys end up with a toothache, then it is better to treat it. Um, should you ignore it? You know, we usually don't recommend it because if you have really bad gum disease, you know, if it's, you're one of the 50% of the population that ends up having bleeding, hemorrhaging gums, can the bacteria go from your mouth? You know, if you notice the mouth, it's part of the body. People fail to realize that, but your sinuses are here, your arteries are here. So if you have infection, it's not good. You don't want that to go in your body and affect the kid. So yeah, getting a cleaning can be beneficial. And you, if you have a tooth that has to come out, I mean, nobody's happy or excited about doing it, but you may have to do it. Get rid of that infection, clear it out, so that it doesn't drain into the rest of the body and affect your body because that can have a bad effect on your kid, okay? Um, is there a relationship between a newborn's teeth and the mom's teeth? Believe it or not, there actually is. There is a three times chance that uh, if you have bad teeth, your child can also have bad teeth. Now, the relationship isn't exactly quite understood of why this happens. Is it because the mom has a bad diet is it to the baby or is it because all the fluids that you're sharing gets transferred to the baby and the mom? But yeah, if you have nice teeth, the chances of your baby having nicer teeth actually goes up. You know, and don't forget, the, it's not just the baby teeth. You know, during the pregnancy, the baby teeth are developing. The adult teeth are also developing. They might not be coming out, but the quality of your teeth, of your baby's teeth is actually created and formed during the pregnancy and during these early years, okay, or uh, months, I should say. So yeah, uh, to be healthy and take care of your teeth can actually affect your baby's teeth too in the future. So, you know, some people who have really weak teeth, they could have just gotten from their folks before they were even born, right? Did I say folks from their mom? <laughs> um, but yeah, take care of your teeth. And if you have an infection, clear it out. But that's it. Don't do cosmetic stuff. That can't wait. Don't do braces and clear aligners and, you know, stuff like that. Those couldn't wait. You know, you got a little chip too. That can wait. Only go there for emergency stuff or stuff that can cause infection because you don't want an infection in your body that can affect the kid. And you just don't want to have an infection in your body, period, guys, okay? And of course, if you're in pain, then you got to go and you got to go through these protocols and get your teeth fixed. But again, the key to a lot of these guys is having a relationship with your dentist before this happens. So if you're planning on getting pregnant, might not be a bad idea to just schedule a checkup cleaning, go get your x-rays done, find a nice local dentist that you like nearby, and just kind of have them on, you know, just, just like you have your physician, your OBGYN, who's gonna give birth to you, to your kid, you might wanna have a dentist kind of ready to go, just in case you need to see him, you know, and if you wanna make an appointment for that cleaning halfway in between, fantastic, go ahead and do it. Just make sure you follow all my other protocols, and um, you'll be good to go. Guys, good luck with that little child. And good luck with keeping your teeth nice and healthy because you know what? Your kid's gonna leave you in 18, 20 years. <laughs> You're stuck with your teeth forever. So make that little time to take better care of your teeth and you'll be grateful for me. So you're not one of those patients who says, ah, oh, my kid destroyed my teeth. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the description box below. And if you have you know, dental problems because of your kid, please share your experience. I really wanna know what your experience was with kids and how it affected your teeth. But I can guarantee you, I've seen some moms that have said it has happened. And while I haven't been their patient for you know 40 years, to know how true this, but I know there is a correlation and there's been some proven evidence that there's a lot of relationship between teeth and pregnancy and there could be some, you know, bad effects on your teeth. But if you guys pay attention and do the things I told you, we can help work together to minimize the impact of pregnancy on teeth. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys next time.